we just... and, and you know what's really interesting, guys? It's it's what you know. Looking back now, it's like well, and and Mugi and I were, were were talking about this. You know, we we um we take for granted that of course there's materials available online and all that. But when you guys started doing this, it was a complete different, completely different um, field. There was it was almost like you know, it's a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. It's a YouTube channel. Uh, I think that was probably the, the the main question that I had when I first heard about the show. I was like, well, how, 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 what? What is this? And so it was seriously a trailblazer, you know, attitude. And I can only imagine how that that felt. How you know it was it was uncharted territory, and and man, has it worked out? It's 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 well, been amazing to to witness. I'll speak to that really quickly. Um, our first confirmation that we had something, we were eating chicken. It is, and somebody came up and said, "Oh my God, I love the show!" And Dave and I looked at us at each other like, "What? If somebody actually is watching this?" And it started with two major components, I think. Well, maybe three, and I'll do it briefly. Um, I knew in the beginning that all this was, all the information was on YouTube, so we had to have a show that treated it differently. You can go find the information. That was one. Um, two, remember when my first plan with this, I had no, I was not going to be involved. So this was how do I keep shaping this for Dave? And then all of a sudden I was involved. And then it was how do we shape it for each other? Um, three, I wanted it to be available to people who didn't understand audio, but would find the show interesting, because ultimately. If the way we look at it, and when we talk about this, a couple of things. One, it's a privilege to be a pop steward of the culture. When people say, "We'll listen to you, you can influence us," the minute you take it for granted, then you're going to start to lose. And so I'm constantly kind of whipping the team about that, and myself as well. Um, two, once you have fiscal responsibility, meaning you've got a staff that has to make payroll. You've got sponsors that are paying dollars. Uh, I am not a cheap guy, uh, so most of our sponsors will tell you, "Did he ask for how much money to, to do this?" Because the production elements and so on and so forth of the show were really important, and because we were first movers, we had nothing to compare it against. So I was comparing it to TV, not to web series and not to other things, and that's where the man- mantra of TV came by. And, and lastly, I'd say this, is the beneficiaries of Pensado's Place, hopefully besides the audience, are two guys named Dave and Herb. The things we learn every single week from the best and brightest who want to come on the show, who reach out for us, who think it's a big deal to be on the show, things we learn are amazing. And for the sake of the conversation, I'm gonna mention some other names. Please know that the best version of the show after 11 years, a bunch of different teams is the one we currently have now, in my opinion, as the guy who runs it all, um, my right hand, who has an enormous role inside Pensado's Place is a Latin lady named Talisha Romero.